Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's video because I've been talking about doing this video for so long and it's about perfume. I'm doing a giveaway in this video, so make sure you like this video, subscribe, and then comment below a fragrance that links you to a certain memory in your life and tell me the story behind that. And I'm gonna pick um, one person that I'm gonna ship a full-size perfume from Sephora or Ulta to of your choice. So make sure you enter. This is my first giveaway I'm ever doing. And I'm linking all the perfumes in the description box below that I'm gonna be talking about today. This is not my full perfume collection. I actually have a lot more perfumes, but Today's video is going to be about perfume that is special to me that I have linked to a memory. I used to have a signature scent and we'll get to that, but what I like to do now is to pick a fragrance for the moment. So if I'm going to the beach, there's a fragrance. If I'm going on vacation or if I'm going to a wedding, I'll pick a fragrance to kind of capture that memory and it also can just bring us back to that place. So I have a lot of fragrances linked to certain cities and also different memories with Adam and the baby. So let's just dive right in. So the first fragrance that I wanna share with you guys is one that's really, really special to me. This reminds me of my childhood. It makes me think of dancing in the living room, making up dances to Britney Spears, 3LW, TLC, Destiny's Child, and sleepovers and just a really, really precious, innocent time in my life. And that is Britney Spears Fantasy. And this may be a little TMI, but when I became a woman, if you know what I'm saying, my mom took me to the mall and got me some actual real perfume for the first time. And she also let me get some expensive makeup that I never had before. Fantasy by Britney Spears is really special to me for many reasons, but it smells really fantastic. I still wear this perfume today and get so many compliments on it. It's just a, a great, great perfume. It is always ranked number one best uh, smelling and selling celebrity fragrance of all time, I believe. Ariana Grande's Cloud is the only thing, only celebrity fragrance that I think could even come close to this, but still, this is one of the best fragrances that you can have in your collection. So the second fragrance that puts me back into a memory is when my mom would wake my brother and I up and she would be in the bathroom finishing up her makeup for the day and she was a teacher. We all rode to school together. My mom was always there. So that is Julieta by Toka. This fragrance is not what she wore. It's just the smell of it that makes me think of her. In the notes, it says it has more of an apple smell, but the dry down is this powder finish, and I don't know if it's that that makes me think of her. It's like that sweet fruit mixed in with a powder makeup smell that makes me think of my mom. Perfumes are so personal, so if this is not what this smells like to you, um, this is just my scent memory and what happens in my brain. But this makes me think of my mother, and she's actually worn this in recent years, but my mom also used to wear cucumber and melon, so anytime I smell that fragrance too, I think of her as well. Another fragrance that makes me think of women in my family is actually something I just stumbled upon. I was like, oh, let me just grab this. It smells familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it. It's beautiful magnolia, and I got the travel size just because I wasn't sure if I wanted the whole bottle. But for some reason, this fragrance reminds me of not only my mother, it does smell like my mother, but it also reminds me on my other side of my family, my grandmother and my great-grandmother on my dad's side. and. My, all of her sisters, so all of my great aunts. It's called Beautiful Magnolia, and that's what I think. I know my great-grandmother used to wear Beautiful by Estee Lauder, but this version, there is something that embodies all the women in my life that I absolutely love. As you can see, I'm almost out of this because I spray it all the time. I actually keep it up by my grandmother and great-grandmother's pictures and keepsakes because it makes me think of them. And I spray it all the time if I just want a little like 
feel like they're with me. The next fragrance, still kind of in my childhood, is Red Roses by Jo Malone. This is my favorite red rose or rose smell just because it smells truly, truly like roses. And the reason why this one is so special to me because I had a favorite baby doll that was rose scented. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. 90s babies, let me know if you had one of these that smelled like flowers. I had the rose one. This smell on the baby doll, I don't know what they put on it, but years after having this baby doll, it still smelled like roses. And this is the exact smell that this baby doll smelled like. A lot of people are kind of conflicted about rose smells because it can smell kind of matronly. I personally love rose smells, so if it's not, it may not be for you, but I actually love this smell so much. I think it smells elegant and it just smells feminine. Last one that reminds me of my childhood is this Nectarine Blossom in Honey. I was actually looking for more of a honeysuckle smell and I couldn't find one that in captured really the honeysuckle sweet that I used to smell. And the reason why I wanted that smell when I was little, my dad would take my brother and I before we could ride box in this red wagon and he would pull us through our little town and we would pick up trash in our little town, put it in the red wagon and then when we got home, we would take all the trash and get rid of it that was on the streets or the side of the road. When we got older, we took the same path on our bikes. So that was just kind of like a very early memory of with my dad is being with him in the red wagon, picking up trash, and then also riding bikes around the neighborhood. And we would always pass this really big honeysuckle bush. And we would stop, pick a honeysuckle, eat the honeysuckle, and keep picking up trash or keep riding our bike or whatever it may be. So I wanted something that was sweet, that really reminded me of the honeysuckle, and I have not found anything sweet enough that was honeysuckled scent. So I went with the Nectarine Blossom in Honey. This smells a little sweeter than I, I usually like my perfumes, but if I wanna be kind of nostalgic, I will spritz this on. Okay, the next fragrance is Victoria's Secret. I have the small bottle because at the time I couldn't find the actual fragrance that I used, but my first job, fun fact about me, was at Victoria's Secret. I loved Victoria's Secret scent Teas. This is Teas Candy Noir, so it's a little bit different because they didn't have teas in stock, and I think they reformulated it a little bit now, so it's still a little bit different, um, but it came in the most beautiful bottle. It had a spritz on the side, like a, I don't even know what you call them, like the actual bubble spritz where you can spritz yourself, and it was just very pretty. It was a very pretty bottle, but I also just love the smell. There were also a lot of girls that loved bombshell and it's still such a great fragrance but i think i burned myself out on bombshell because when i was at victoria's secret when it was first released we had a huge campaign and we even had like scentsies or like i don't even know what you call it like We'd have fragrant in the store that would like release like an air purifier thing that would release the scent um, bombshell and I just got so tired of that smell. But it's such a beautiful smell. So if you love bombshell, I, I'm with you. I just smelled it every day for years. This tease is just kind of sexy and I just loved it. Also, who remembers the Victoria's Secret pink that we would spray in high school? all of the time. And Love Spell. We cannot forget about Love Spell. I was a Love Spell kind of girl. So Bath and Body Works, pink sprays, like that was all the rage. Okay, my next fragrance reminds me of Adam. Toka Florence. This fragrance right here used to be my signature scent. The whole time that I was dating Adam, this is what I would wear. I love it so much that I have it in the hair fragrance. And you can see how much I've used of it. If you follow me on TikTok, you know the story behind the hair fragrance. When I was in camp, when I was about 12, this really beautiful girl came into the bathroom and I was staring at her and I thought she was gonna be really mean to me, but she turned to me as she was like fixing herself in the mirror and I had been staring at her and she turned to me and she said, never forget, always spray your perfume 
on the top of your head and in your hair because when cute boys lean in to hug you, their nose goes right here. I've never forgotten that. Coco Florence is so special to me. It, it makes me think about dating Adam. I've gone through so many of these bottles. I will never get rid of this scent. Even if I stop using it completely, I will probably put it in a memory box that Adam and I have of our wedding and everything because dating Adam was such a fun time. Like it was, I was in love and we just had so much fun fun and we were just so blissful and we just made so many memories like going to different countries and traveling all over the place and there is a running joke if you follow me on instagram that every time i get in an uber the uber driver always says you smell fantastic a fun fact um you see that i have two tokas here one that reminded me of my mom and the one i'm telling you about now i also wore toka during the bachelor so when i was on season 21 of the bachelor i wore the scent colette all right moving on we have a fragrance that I became so in love with that I mixed it with my signature scent and that is Gucci Bloom. Gucci Bloom, it's a white floral that's just so beautiful and romantic to me and I loved mixing it with the toka because toka brought out a sweetness in it. This fragrance is what I wore on my wedding day brings me back to being in a wedding dress. It really does, it's what it does for me. So I highly recommend if you're about to get married or know someone that's getting married to encourage them to get a different scent than what they normally wear for their wedding day because they will smell it and always remember that moment. I'm probably gonna butcher this name because I'm not very good with like names. Giorgio Armani, I wore this to my baby shower. Um, when I smell this, it's really clean, it's fresh. When I got pregnant with my son, I became obsessed with scents even more because there was something that happened to my body. My senses heightened and I could be all the way across the street and I'm like, what's that smell? And it would be the flowers in my neighbor's yard. I mean, it was like a whole other, like a superpower, a whole other level of smell and taste and everything. So I became obsessed and I wanted to have a signature scent that would bring me back, kind of like my wedding day, to my baby shower and make me think of that time in my life. And for me, that is this fragrance and it's a beautiful bottle as well. And last I checked, it was on sale at Ulta. I don't know if it's still going on right now, but just I'll leave it in the, in the description box below so you can check it out and see if it is. All right, the next fragrance is, oh, how do I say, bittersweet? That's not what it smells like. That's my memory associated with it. So <laughs> Adam's favorite scent in the world is like laundry detergent, clean smelling things. Um, things fresh out of the laundry, clean sheets, like that is his favorite fragrance. And we would go to Buff City Soap, which I've talked about before on this channel, and they have this scent called, I think it's Fresh Linen or something like that, and we could get it in the soap, we could get it in the, as laundry detergent, but Plain Classic has it in the perfume. And this smells, if you don't like the smell of dryer sheets or literal warm cotton, you won't like this. But if you do, you have to purchase it. And it's Clean Classic. There's also Clean Reserve, just to differentiate it for you. Um, they're slightly different, slightly different formulated. But the reason why this is a bittersweet memory for me is because when I started having contractions for the baby, I had just doused myself in this perfume. And it really wasn't the contractions. I had been having contractions for a long time um, up until this point for probably about two weeks and they were getting increasingly worse. But the night I actually went into the hospital, I had just doused myself in this. And I had a very traumatic birth for <laughs> emergency C-section and everything. So for a long time, Six, for six months, <laughs> I have not been able to wear this um, just because it kind of like puts me, it's like, I, I can't explain it, it's bittersweet. It like makes me feel kind of panicky and then it also makes me feel like 
so happy because this is like what I had on when I had the baby. So it's like so weird and it all worked out. Isn't it so funny how fragrances can do that to us? But that is all I have. That's all I'm gonna share with you. Leave in the comments below if you also want to see my full fragrance collection or if you want some recommendations for fall or the workplace or whatever, I love fragrance, so I would love to talk more about it. I just wanted to share some of my favorite fragrance memories with you. And so I hope you enjoy, and don't forget to comment below your favorite fragrance that is linked to a memory and tell me the story behind it. And next week, I'm gonna pick one winner and I'm gonna ship you a full bottle of your choice perfume from Ulta or Sephora. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment below to enter, to win, share and tell all of your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.